Chapter 16 Jehu's Prophecy Against Baasha The word of Yahweh came to Jehu, the son of Hanani, against Baasha, saying, Because I exalted you out of the dust, and made you prince over my people Israel, and you have walked in the way of Jeroboam, and have made my people Israel to sin, to provoke me to anger with their sins. Behold, I will utterly sweep away Baasha and his house, and I will make your house like the house of Jeroboam, the son of Nebat. The dogs will eat Baasha's descendants who die in the city, and he who dies of his in the field, the birds of the sky will eat. Now the rest of the acts of Baasha, and what he did, and his might, aren't they written in the book of the chronicles of the kings of Israel? Baasha slept with his fathers, and was buried in Terzah. And Elah, his son, reigned in his place. Moreover, by the prophet Jehu, the son of Hanani, came the word of Yahweh against Baasha and against his house, both because of all the evil that he did in the sight of Yahweh to provoke him to anger with the work of his hands in being like the house of Jeroboam and because he struck him. Elah reigns in Israel. In the twenty-sixth year of Asa, king of Judah, began Elah, the son of Baasha, to reign over Israel in Terzah, and reigned two years. His servant Zimri, captain of half his chariots, conspired against him. Now he was in Terzah, drinking himself drunk in the house of Arza, who was over the household in Terzah. And Zimri went in and struck him, and killed him in the twenty-seventh year of Asa, king of Judah, and reigned in his place. It happened when he began to reign, as soon as he sat on his throne, that he struck all the house of Baasha. He didn't leave him a single one who urinates on a wall, neither of his relatives, nor of his friends. Thus Zimri destroyed all the house of Baasha, according to the word of Yahweh, which he spoke against Baasha by Jehu the prophet, for all the sins of Baasha and the sins of Elah his son, which they sinned, and with which they made Israel to sin, to provoke Yahweh, the God of Israel, to anger with their vanities. Now the rest of the acts of Elah and all that he did, aren't they written in the book of the chronicles of the kings of Israel? Zimri reigns in Israel. In the twenty-seventh year of Asa, king of Judah, did Zimri reign seven days in Terzah. Now the people were encamped against Gibbethon, which belonged to the Philistines. The people who were encamped heard say, Zimri has conspired and has also struck the king. Therefore all Israel made Amri, the captain of the army, king over Israel that day in the camp. Amri went up from Gibbethon, and all Israel with him, and they besieged Terzah. It happened when Zimri saw that the city was taken, that he went into the castle of the king's house, and burnt the king's house over him with fire, and died. For his sins, which he sinned in doing that which was evil in the sight of Yahweh, in walking in the way of Jeroboam, and in his sin, which he did, to make Israel to sin. Now the rest of the acts of Zimri, and his treason that he did, Aren't they written in the book of the chronicles of the kings of Israel? Amri reigns in Israel.
Then were the people of Israel divided into two parts. Half of the people followed Tibni, the son of Gynath, to make him king, and half followed Umri. But the people who followed Umri prevailed against the people who followed Tibni, the son of Gynath. So Tibni died, and Umri reigned. In the thirty-first year of Asa, king of Judah, began Amri to reign over Israel, and reigned twelve years. Six years reigned he in Terzah. He bought the hill Samaria of Shemer for two talents of silver, and he built on the hill, and called the name of the city which he built after the name of Shemer, the owner of the hill, Samaria. Amri did that which was evil in the sight of Yahweh, and dealt wickedly above all who were before him. For he walked in all the way of Jeroboam, the son of Nebat, and in his sins, with which he made Israel to sin, to provoke Yahweh, the God of Israel, to anger with their vanities. Now the rest of the acts of Amri, which he did, and his might that he showed, Aren't they written in the book of the chronicles of the kings of Israel? So Amri slept with his fathers, and was buried in Samaria. And Ahab his son reigned in his place. Ahab reigns in Israel, marries Jezebel. In the thirty-eighth year of Asa king of Judah, began Ahab, the son of Amri, to reign over Israel. And Ahab, the son of Amri, reigned over Israel in Samaria twenty-two years. Ahab, the son of Amri, did that which was evil in the sight of Yahweh, above all that were before him. It happened, as if it had been a light thing for him to walk in the sins of Jeroboam, the son of Nebat, that he took as wife Jezebel, the daughter of Ethbaal, king of the Sidonians, and went and served Baal, and worshipped him. He reared up an altar for Baal in the house of Baal, which he had built in Samaria. Ahab made the Asherah, and Ahab did yet more to provoke Yahweh, the God of Israel, to anger than all the kings of Israel who were before him. In his days did Hiel, the Bethelite, build Jericho. He laid its foundation with the loss of Abiram, his firstborn, and set up its gates with the loss of his youngest son, Segub, according to the word of Yahweh, which he spoke by Joshua, the son of Nun.